right there. Awesome. Hi guys, I'm Christine. And I'm Anna. Our YouTube page is Black Tie Affair, table for two. two. But today we're joining forces with cooking to bring you a quick, easy, and hopefully delicious meal that you can prepare at home. So Anna, what are we trying today? So for those of you who don't know, Christina and I are both full-time working moms and we don't have time to sit in the kitchen and make no. this lavish meal. So we have like 30 minutes at most. And today we're gonna show you a few shortcuts on how to make a quick and easy spicy seafood pasta using yes. some of our favorite products from the Botticelli Amazing. Foods line. So which I'll show you right now. Okay. So you have the um, Destination Series, which is the top of the line extra virgin olive oils from the brand. Comes from different regions of Italy that we're gonna be utilizing. And then you have all of the different pastas. This one, the spicy vodka, hasn't even launched yet. It's coming out next month. Amazing, amazing product. Not too spicy, very flavorful. Then you have all the ones over here. They actually have a vegan bolognese that is really, really good. It, is. it tastes like there's meat in it, but there really isn't. And then you have the top of the line pasta that they offer, the Casamilo brand that we're gonna be using these sp spaghettinis. And then we're gonna create the little zhuzh of our own because we love the flavor of this, yes, but we also delicious. love to add our own little yeah, spin to it. Yeah, why not? Put our own spin on it. All right, so follow me. Okay, so I'm gonna put this here for now. This is our hot water. So we already have some uh, boiling water here that we already seasoned with salt. You always wanna, you know, you always wanna salt your water because it's just gonna flavor the pasta. So why not? All right, so I'm gonna put this here. Just gonna rest that here for now, and this is the Botticelli pasta that we are using. All right, Anna, my love, you have to put ten minutes on that. Time up. We lost a fella. I got you. All right. Thank you. All right. So we're gonna just give that a little stir ski, and then I'm gonna just let that go for ten minutes. Okay. So yeah, that's fine. Okay. All right. Next. What I have in this pot here is the Botticelli tomato and basil. Listen, if you have the time to make your own homemade sauce, then so be it. If not, there's absolutely nothing wrong with using a jarred sauce. I know Italian grandmothers are just clutching their pearls across the globe, but I promise you it will still be delicious. So I'm just gonna take this lid off, but here I already have one jar in here. Going to add another because, you know, we have a big family to feed. So we're going to just add the balance of that and get a workout by uh, <laughs> shake weight. All right. We are good there. Going to put this, this. All right. So now, because I like to add my own little, my little zhuzh, my little spin on when I'm using a jarred sauce, I like to put, kind of put my own, you know, my own ideas in there. So this right here is a delicious herb. Uh, it's found in the Caribbean. You might know it as Shadow Benny, Bandania. Here in New York, if you get it at the fruit and vegetable markets, um, it's, I, think, I believe it's called flat leaf parsley or flat leaf cilantro. This is what it looks like. This thing is amazing. I mean, you can make any meal taste amazing from chicken, steak. You can chop this up and use it as a homemade uh, salad dressing and it's, it's awesome. So we are going to add, I, I used about two oh. to three of the, uh, of those leaves in here. So I'm gonna add that in there. In the meantime, I am going, are we on here, Anna? Okay. It's on. I'm going to add some of our extra virgin Botticelli olive oil to our pan to let that heat up. Here's the garlic. You Thank some? you, my love. Oh, oh you know, I have it, I'm good. See, I'm already prepared, girl. Okay. All okay. right, so now listen, I can, you know, I can just add the garlic directly to the sauce, but I feel like that takes longer for that garlic flavor to really distribute throughout the whole entire sauce. So I personally like to just, you know, I've already chopped some garlic here. I'm gonna put that in. Give it a little mixy mix. Now this is the Scotch bonnet pepper. This puppy here is dangerous. So if you're gonna be chopping this up without gloves, be careful, wash your hands properly because if you accidentally, you know, rub your eyes, I swear it's curtains for you, you're done. So I am gonna also add a few slices of the Scotch, bon whoops, Scotch bonnet pepper to that. I don't wanna make it too, too spicy, just because there's gonna be some kids that are eating this, so we're not trying to uh, 
set their souls on fire. So I think that's good enough. I, I don't want the garlic to be too burnt because, you know, you just don't want burnt garlic is kind of gross. So I'm going to add that right to the sauce. Okay, I'm going to put this in here because we are done with that. So, oh, you know what? Something important. I also like a little bit of a sweet sauce. So spicy sweet is about two and a half tablespoons of brown sugar. Like you see here, I'm going to dump that all in and we're going to give that a little mixy mix. And you know, come take a peek over here so you can see what this looks like. Look at this, it's gorgeous. Okay, so that looks amazing. Thank you, Anna. You're so kind to remind me that I forgot to put fresh basil. That's what best friends are for. So I'm just gonna yeah. throw that in there like so. And we are just gonna mix that around. And really, you know what? Cover this, it's, it just needs to simmer really for like maybe 10 or so minutes. And you're, you know, you're good to go at that point. So, all right, so just to get a recap, we have our pasta boiling. We have our sauce that is basically just like 10 minutes and, and it's go time for that. And uh, so you are up on seafood. Yes, can you remove just... your thing? Because I know we pre-cooked. Yeah, we pre-cooked sure. some for you guys to save some time. <laughs> all right, what do you want? What do you want me to do? Move this? Yeah. Okay. All right, but then you're also going to need it also for your... Uh, mm -hmm. for your seafood. So you let me know and I will bring it back for you. Yes. Okay. Thank you. All right. Sorry for the lull in time. So I'm in charge of the seafood. So the protein that goes in with the pasta. So we're gonna let this heat up a little bit. We're gonna pour some of that extra virgin olive oil from Botticelli. Now, mind you, we're not sponsored by Botticelli. They're so not paying us. They're not paying us. We just love their product so much that um, we actually got some extra stuff. So um, here we go. You're gonna add enough, maybe like two tablespoons, just to coat the pan. Like so. Like so, like that? Yeah, like this. Coat it, and then we're gonna add some garlic to this. I like to add like four to six cloves. And it's not quite hot yet, so we're waiting for it to heat up. That's okay, it'll get there, we have time. Kind of, not really. Not really, but we're just, we're saying that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what, what's next, Anna? So we're going to wait until that heats up a little bit, and then I'm going to go ahead and add my mussels, which have already been cleaned. Yep, oh, we lost one. One <laughs> bites the dust. <laughs> you can have that one. So as you can see, the garlic is starting to sizzle, and you want it to get a little bit brown, right? Not to the point of burning. We just want the aromas to come out. And then we're gonna add the mussels. And then after the mussels, we're gonna be adding some shrimp as well. Shrimp cooks really fast also, so that's why we're gonna actually put that after. All right, now I'm gonna actually put the shrimp right here for you, so. Thanks! I know. What a great nice. sous chef. <laughs> All right, so that is pretty much done. These. I'm not going to add it all because it's actually a lot. Yeah, we don't, we don't need the whole thing. That's all right. There you go. Figure that. Hear that sizzle. And it smells amazing in here, guys. Amazing. It does. Just like so. Stir it up just to try to get that garlic up a little bit so it's not really on the bottom. Now, my love, do you want to add your shrimp to that, or do you want me to put a small pan here so you can... Let's do a small pan right. separate aside, but I need more garlic. Yeah, yeah, there's some garlic right there on the Amazing. cutting board. You want some more. So, I'm going to cover this so it can open up those shells, and then we're going to do in a separate pan, we're going to cook some of the shrimp, which I'm going to season with some Himalayan salt right here. Sprinkle about a tablespoon, some pepper, a little garlic powder. We're just going to cheat this a little bit. And then I'm just going to massage this in. Sorry. Massage guys. it, girl. Get it. You washed your hands. I hope you washed your hands. I sure right? did. Look, this fell <laughs> Better off now, but it's clean. I promise. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna massage this in 
Now we're gonna add some garlic to this olive oil. And while this all cooks, actually, Christine, can you stir the pasta so they don't stick together, please? Yeah, sure, absolutely. Let's take that. I think I actually might need to, can, I, can this go higher? Yeah. I need to put it a little, you know, put it, make it a little higher. Yeah. It's on high. All right. Hope that doesn't stick together, but it happens. So we have that garlic and oil. Then we're going to do a little bit of the shrimp, jumbo shrimp. Like so. Actually, talk to them about the cooking app and the test flight, downloading it and how to get access. All right, guys. About. So if you download Test Pilot in iOS and then you look for cooking, so basically it's cooking without the G, you're going to look at that so you can, um, you know, follow your favorite chefs and, you know, basically kind of get updates on what's going on and you can make your own meals at home. So why not? All right, what's go what else is going on? Did I miss anything? No. In two seconds? While we're while we're doing this, I'm gonna mix this. Let's start the um garlic bread? the garlic bread. All yes. right. Are you coming with us, yes. your uh, camera guy? <laughs> we're doing the George Jefferson. How <laughs> that is? We're taking it out of the dishwasher because doesn't everyone keep their garlic bread in their dishwasher? <laughs> I mean, I know we do. <laughs> okay, so. How are we gonna do this? So in here, what's in here? Olive oil, fresh chopped garlic, some basil, some oregano, some love. We, we put love in there too, if you didn't see that. Yeah. So Anna's gonna just uh, butter. I like to butter the bread first. So do then, I. Do you? You're the best. While I do this, can you stir the muscle? I can, I sure, Thank why you. not? So we're just gonna spread the butter evenly across. Now we have the oven already heated, preheated to 400 degrees. And we're trying to do everything at the same time so it's all finished and hot at the same Fresh. time so we could serve our families right. and be done with it. And we could pretend like we spent hours in the kitchen. Oh, there's our pasta. Okay. It's done, we can strain that. All right, I'm doing both sides. As you can see, I don't know if you can see this. I'm probably just gonna give it another minute because some of the pasta, you know, sometimes it like sticks together a little bit, which doesn't make me happy, but that's okay. It's still that's gonna be right. delicious. It's the temperature of the stove as well. All right, so now that this is buttered, I'm gonna go ahead and spread some of that olive oil and garlic with the uh, oregano in it. I'm actually gonna add a little bit of salt because I like. Yeah, I get it, girl. A little flavor to be brought out, right? Yep, that's right. Stir this together and add it. This is roasted garlic that we pre-roasted. Or actually, no, what do we do with this? Where do we get this she from? She likes to lie sometimes. <laughs> I bought that at the Italian market. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> Linda, <laughs> it's uh, <laughs> when you go to cooking shows, they lie about a lot They're of the liars. stuff that they do. But you know what, I guess we're just gonna keep it 100 today. So <laughs> I did, you know, I actually purchased the, the roasted garlic, but it's delicious though, so, so you know, why not? I'm just gonna we're do cutting corners sides. today. <laughs> yes. That looks right. amazing. All right, I'm gonna check on this. Thank you. And I then for me, I like to add some Parmesan cheese because I like all of the flavors together. So we're just gonna sprinkle some cheese on the bread as well. Nothing wrong with that. I love some cheese. All right, don't we all? You do. My stomach doesn't love it, but I love it. That's all that matters. <laughs> awesome. All right, I am going to just test a strand of... While she's here. doing that, I'm gonna pop this in the oven and then we're gonna check on our seafood and put them together. I'll be right back. All right. You can head over to her. I think our pasta is good. I'm gonna put on my little gloves here. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? You know what, Anna, do you care? Can you just dump that, uh, dump that in the yeah, You can just give it a quick little rinse and then it'll be yeah. good to go. So our pasta's ready. It, I believe it's all done, Dave, but usually about 10, 11 minutes and that should be enough. So Anna, you might, I don't know if you want to add that shrimp to the, the muffin and then add some sauce to it. Oh that. my goodness. So, what I forgot. Yeah, so that looks amazing. I'm going to smell it even better. Two. Just like so. Okay. And then we're going to cover it up for maybe another minute or two. And then we're going to start plating. The um, garlic bread should be done because it's basically going to boil the top. 
we put it on broil or did we? Um, I think we just have it on bake, but that, I think that's okay though. We just mm -hmm. really need it to, to heat through. If it gets a little crisp, not the end of the world. It's still gonna be delicious. I'm gonna check on that right now. Oh, it smells so good. Oh my God, amazing. Ooh, turning everything off because it's like melting my makeup right now. <laughs> These digital stove tops are like, you're telling me. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Okay. What do we got going on? What are we doing? Oh, All right. While we do that, let's try some of this, the stuff that we have. We yeah, have the olive have... bruschetta yes. Yes, and yes, yes. the Italian antipasto that you can actually add to your charcuterie board, um, which is really, really delicious. She just like saying that word, charcuterie. <laughs> But I also love charcuterie boards. They're too. really amazing. Like, she makes an amazing one from scratch. She makes her own like little concoction Jeez, and, and everything. everything. It's so pretty. You know, I try. So let's try this out. Okay. Um, open that. I'm washing some dishes. I'm here. gonna turn this down. Go ahead. Housekeeping. All right. Turn that down. We go with that. Do we have a, another spoon? Just, right. Yeah. Take okay. a spoon. We need that. Yeah. Perfect. There we go. All right, guys, so I hope everyone is doing well out there. I hope you're enjoying this. I'm sorry we're not giving you any attention. The olive bruschetta. And we this is already in this, like, oil, which is really great, that you can just put it on top. What kind of a bread is this? It's just a semolina. Okay. Semolina bread. Here you go. One Thank, thank you. you. Thank you so much. Here is a napkin for thank you. you, my dear. It's messy, and it's very um, oily. It's oily. So on the top. Yeah. The top mm -hmm. is oily. Yeah, I mean you can mix so, it, but cheers. cheers. All right, say goodbye. Hmm. I'm mm. it. Really good. Really good. Wow. That's amazing. You can see the bits of olive in here. Mm hmm It's not a strong olive either. Mm hmm It's good. It tastes like the, the Kalamata olives is what it tastes like to me anyway. Mm hmm mm hmm Wow. It's quick and easy. And then this is their um, anti-past past. There you go. Yeah, you want me to try it? Uh huh. Okay. Take that. It has artichoke, and mm -hmm. this is the uh, olives. Some bell really pepper. Mm. It's salty, but not too salty, so I like that. It's really good. This is good. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. She's <laughs> always got to get more. I gotta try this. Try. Try the little pickle. <laughs> I don't want to try the little pickle. But... Alright. She likes she big pickles, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> I meant <laughs> Okay, that sounded bad. <laughs> the bigger pickles are more sour, I guess. Oh my okay, god. Like I'm gonna count on you. Alright, so I guess at this point I am going to plate our, our pasta, pasta, right? Yeah. If you want, you can chuck the um the bread. Yep. And here, plate it over here. Yep, I will. I just gotta get the uh, pasta into the bowl. Hopefully this is cooked perfectly. Okay, got some pasta in this bowl. I'm gonna put it in the other bowl. Sorry guys if I'm uh, ignoring you. It's not on purpose. It's just this is this is not easy. No, <laughs> doing not. everything live. It's not live. We're we're doing it live, people. So there's no room for error. So excuse me if I am being a little bit rude. I apologize. All right, so. We got our pasta, pasta. Right here. We're gonna now get, where is our spoon for the pasta? Yeah, oh, thank you. All right, so. No, let's do it yeah, in front yeah, of the camera. There. So they can see, you guys wanna see what's going on, I, I would imagine, so. This is the sauce that we've made. I'm going to give Anna a nice little scoop ski right there. Good. I'm give myself one. Do you want more? I don't know how you like your. I like mine where I can taste everything, so okay. not All too right. covered, right? Thank you, thank you. And then um, we're our gonna seafood cook. is done. We're gonna get so over you know here. What? Do you want me to bring it there, or do you want no, to? No, bring it over here. Okay, come on, cameraman, right. follow us. Follow us. So now we're gonna some um, Parmesan cheese. Why not? Just yeah, use your yeah. fingers. They're clean. Yep. With okay. some Parmesan. You got one for yourself. Let's give it a go. You know what? I want to see what's going on with our bread. So let me let me check that. You can take a bite. I'm gonna go no, see. What's I forgot going on. about the bread. You need the bread. You need the bread. Oh my god, it's perfect. It's absolutely perfect. So I'm gonna stop this. I'm sorry that you guys cannot see me, but stop on the other side. Oh okay. Hold on. There's two off buttons. Hold on, guys. One's for the top, and one's for the bottom oven. Okay, so good. We are good. 
You ready? <laughs> nope. <laughs> Guys, how long has it been? 20 minutes. Exactly. That's because we prepped and we already chopped up everything super easy. But you can have dinner ready in 20, 30 minutes max. All right. That is the Let's key of today and what we're doing because none of us have time, even in this day and age, which is amazing. And it's, it's something that, look, restaurant style pasta at home and it looks so delicious and i hope it tastes just as delicious I'm and sure i know it will because be. of, of all the products that we did use so she's cutting us up some bread it's bread. hot it feels like the devil's armpit that's how hot but guys is. this is the shortcut that's the thing find stuff that will help make your lives easier we actually found this brand botticelli which actually has some really great tasting products not too salty not too spicy not it's just the right amount and Whoop. like what we do is we zhuzh it up with our own flavor and yeah, that's right. It, right there's nothing wrong with that look at this okay so are ready? we are done and we're gonna take a little bite so i hope it's good if not this is gonna be awkward but ready <laughs> cheers, cheers. Mm -hmm. mm. Thumbs up. The pasta is cooked perfectly. Al dente. Yep. I Delicious. love it when it really has good. that little bite to it. Let's try the seafood. Okay. What did you try? You tried a muscle? Shrimp. A shrimp? Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So here's our shrimp. Mm hmm. Not overcooked. So I was a little concerned, but perfect. And now our garlic bread. Try it. Wait, I didn't get any mussels. Come on. Mm. That's really good. Is it good? All right. Yeah. I like to dip in sauce, so. Yep. Here we go. That bread is on point. <laughs> it really is delicious. So, quick, quick and easy. Again, on in the bread, we have um, butter on the bread. Olive oil mixed with some oregano and some garlic. Roasted garlic. Roasted garlic. Mm -hmm. And then we added some salt along with some Parmesan cheese at the very end. Mm -hmm. Toasted it in the oven. Um, baked it on 400. In the last like two minutes, we put on broil so it can kind of like give you that nice crunch Perfect. at the end. So, Anna, what are you? And thank yeah. you. Yeah. Thank you guys for tipping us there. I know there are some people thank out there. you for getting tipped? Oh my God. We're going yeah. to Disneyland. <laughs> Thank no. you. <laughs> what I want to do actually I'm in shocked. the future is take some of those tips and give it back to our community, the people that follow us. So, you do? I'm just kidding. Yes. <laughs> of course we do. I'm just kidding. I'm not so those reading. people that actually <laughs> register, well, we might end up Absolutely. doing a little contest and just doing a small giveaway. I think to that's an amazing people. idea. Next time we're going to do that. <laughs> we don't amazing. Yes. Quarter, quarter. So mm -hmm. don't forget, go on that app. Yeah. Um, uh, test pilot. Here. Go into iOS. Oh. Test flight. Test flight, right? I'm sorry, test test flight. flight in iOS, and then you want to look for cooking. So basically, cooking without the G. So you can follow all your favorite chefs, and you know, see what's kind of new and happening. And this is what the app looks like right here. So I really hope that everyone, uh, you know, follows. And yeah. what am I missing? I mean, there's actually going to be real chefs on there. Yeah. We're just foodies that love to We're cook. We two bras <laughs> that like to eat a meal. We, we love like, to eat food, and we, we love to cook. We love to find quick and easy ways because we do not have time. Yep. And uh, <laughs> we're lucky enough to be on this app amongst yeah, like, they were real desperate. chefs. They were super desperate. They were just like, hey, you brought us off the street. We'll take you. We were like, well, we're panhandling. And then we were like, okay. <laughs> so and, uh, what I want to ask you is, um, you know, what do you, what do you like about cooking? Me, I love to try new things and find ways to spice it up like not with spice yeah but just to put but do you like, like you know these like crazy meals or do you like the quick meals like what is your me thing? my thing is quick meals because i am a mother of two and i have a full-time job and right now you know we're working remotely because of the pandemic and everything that's going mm -hmm. on and for me i feel like Working from home, you actually work longer hours, which is yeah, ridiculous. Is, true. So by the time I'm off my meetings and doing what I'm doing, it's like 7.30 at night. And I'm Everyone's like, oh my hangry. God. Everyone's hangry. Hangry. They're like, mom, what's for dinner? Mm -hmm. And they're tired of, you know, takeout. Right, and exactly. it's like, oh my God, I have to hurry up and think of something quick and easy, which is why I love adding seafood. Because yeah. frozen, like shrimp, you can thaw it out in minutes. Seasons, and that's a great yeah. uh, piece of protein that you can add to your dish. Absolutely. And this stuff, I love Botticelli. It's amazing. It I really is good. Yeah. So, what about yourself? For me, 
Thank you for asking. <laughs> uh, personally, listen, I love the quick and easy meals. I love that idea because obviously I'm also full time, you know, um, I work full time and I have two kids as, as well. Our, my kids are teenagers, so they're always starving. Super annoying, but anyway, I guess they have to eat. Um, <laughs> so I do like those quick and easy meals, but I can't lie. I like to also make those lavish meals. I'm into that. You know what? For me, it's like making... I'm saying like the mecca like a high mecca hiney ho of the dishes. Like you put your elbow grease in there, bells, whistles, everything, blood, sweat, tears. I like that just because uh, for me it's that feedback that I get from my friends and family. So, you know, when I get that positive feedback, I'm like, you know what, I'm going to do more next time, you know, just because I, I feel like they really appreciated everything, you know, but it's like when I make that like crazy meal and if I hear crickets coming from the dining room, and my son says to me, mom, you know, two weeks later, can you make that, that meal that you made two weeks ago? And I'm like, oh, wait a minute, you mean to tell me you want to make, you want me to make that mecha lecha high mecha hiney ho dish, the one that took me uh, four days and 12 hours while I was wearing stilettos? No, you didn't give me any feedback. <laughs> I heard crickets. So I expect, I'm sorry, this is just me. I expect a goddamn mariachi band coming from my dining room. I want whistles. I want rocket ships. Girl. I want Beyonce serenading me, telling me thank you. Because for me, I'm like, you know what? I'm going to do it again. If I hear nothing and you ask me for that, I'm going to say, oh, that girl. meal is dead, dead to me. It's dead to you in this one. You're never seen it. I want that appreciation. That's all I'm saying. Once in a blue moon, I'll hit you up with a, like a real lavish meal. But... <laughs> I'm all for shortcuts. I don't have that time. I have a five-year-old and I have a 16-year-old and I have, actually have one on the way. She's got so. a bun in the oven. I mean, I got two buns, but they're back there. Nothing to do with my stomach, but anyway. <laughs> but like we t typically, like we are working parents yes. and we don't have time, me personally. Normally, right. I, and course. we have side jobs yeah. too, on top of we that. Do. We do our, our black tie. Our, our YouTube, <laughs> our black tie affair table for two. You don't yeah, have to we that film going, that so. on the side and we do different things on the side. And That's it's right. just like, we don't have time. So I'm all Absolutely. for shortcuts. I'm I all for you. finding what else is out there that I can try. And that's why we try different places Absolutely. and different things, and we that's what I love. Use. Absolutely. Yeah. So what else? What what else is going on here? Because you know we're so fast that we have time to chit chat right now. Yes, oh, cravings. Let's talk about cravings. Great. Oh my God. Funny enough that you yeah. should mention cravings. So I know Don't. this is not gonna seem like wild and crazy to anyone, but I have been craving an everything bagel with cream cheese. I'm not pregnant or anything but I back in the day when I could afford to eat everything bagels every single day I used to and the one day I went to go get my bagel from my my local deli ordered my everything bagel with cream cheese it looks beautiful it was just like a beautiful perfect bagel and I couldn't wait to bite into it I bite into this bagel and then all of a sudden I feel this like thread like material don't in my mouth. So I start to pull out the longest hair I have ever seen. It was as if Rapunzel herself had made my goddamn bagel. So oh I mean, it wasn't, it, it wasn't Rapunzel. It was actually Rapunzel's like Indian cousin Gita. She had beautiful hair. I just didn't Gita. want it on my bagel. You know what I mean? So I had stopped eating everything bagel with cream cheese for quite some time until now. So you mentioned cravings. And I'm like, <laughs> now I want to eat that again. And I want to make my bagel recipe. I found an amazing bagel recipe online and it's awesome. I told you I want to make that for you. She has yet to make it for me, so I have no idea. Have she's supposed to be my day. best friend, and she hasn't even made me that. <laughs> we so, will. We, yeah. we, we will definitely take care of that for sure. Other than that, um, what else? What else is going on? Girl, I'm all for... Any new movies? Have you been watching movies? I'm not a huge like movie person, but... I just watched Coming to America yesterday. I don't know about everyone else. It's not like the first one. I'm it's gonna, hard to beat the original. It really is. But it was really nice to see all of the actors. The original cast. Yes, yeah. it was uh -huh. so nice. Even though, you know, you can see they got older and a little, a <laughs> yeah. little, uh, and been eating a lot. <laughs> uh, very well. Sorry, eating very <laughs> well. <laughs> um, it was still nice. It was nostalgic. They still had some stuff that brought back from the original movie, which was really... Which, yeah, I hear you. I watched like 10 minutes and I kind of just stopped watching it, but I'm going to give it another go because I really enjoyed the original so much. Um, as far as shows, I'm really not a huge TV person, but a friend of mine recommended The Strain on Hulu. I had never heard of it before and my first initial reaction was The Strain. Eating. Why would I want to watch a series on constipation? Clearly, it was not this one. When, when I watched the first episode, ironically enough, it was about a virus that hit New York. I know. And, you know, whoever gets affected by the, the virus turns into this, like, 
zombie looking vampire. It's really amazing. Anyway, I highly recommend it. This sauce is amazing. It's I can't, really I, good. I, I've been talking some. I'm yapping, just flapping the Tomato gums basil here. is very simple, but you could taste that basil. But I love that you put that little spin of that flat leaf. Yes. Um, and I taste the heat. Do you taste the heat? Yeah. yeah but it's not overpowering either. Yeah. Not at all. It's so, super flavorful. We can't wait till our cameraman can taste this too. Yes. But, um, we will. We haven't forgotten about you. Literally, mm -hmm. guys, again, pick mm -hmm. up when you don't have time. I always have this stored in my uh, pantry. And I will go ahead and boil me some water, put some um, sauce on the stove, you know, saute my garlic. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll still do my right, garlic. You can do anything with this. Yeah. Like chicken parmesan or any kind of meal. That's what I, I do. Eat. Oh my God. If I have That's frozen meatballs, frozen meatballs are really great to keep in the freezer also. Right. Because you can go ahead and make like Thaw sliders. Them quickly and you can make You can make some sliders. Like the bread, put yep. the meatballs, put the sauce on top, That's and right. put some mozzarella cheese, add some parmesan. And there put it in go. the oven, you're good to go. That's like, right. Super simple, super easy. So, guys, all right, I think we are actually just about done. Don't forget to please download Test Flight, you said, right? Test Flight in iOS. Uh, look for cooking without the G, so cooking, so you can follow your favorite chefs like oh. us. We're not chefs, but... What's that? Uh, the app as well, cooking.app. Cooking.app. You can also go there yeah. to, to get uh, the app. And, um, you know, maybe we'll be your new uh, faces of cooking. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see what happens. But don't forget to visit our YouTube page, Black Tie Affair Table for Two. Yes. Hit like and subscribe because we will be bringing more stuff like this to you on that channel. Correct. As we move along. So definitely go get yourself some antipasta for when you want that quick and easy snack. You have the Olive bruschetta. I don't know. I'm not saying it but, right. But Sorry to all the Italians out there. I'm not trying um, to offend anybody. But this one, oh my god, guys! I got the exclusive. Spicy vodka has yet to launch. It's coming out next month. You heard it here first. Yes, <laughs> and saw it. And you saw it here first. I am going to be cooking this up tomorrow. I think and that is it. We're all done. Thank you so much for joining us. I hope you guys had a positive experience. Until next time, peace out. Bye. Bye, guys.